What's up, y'all? Sparty here. So, um, initially, I just wanted to have a base video to talk about the uh, cameras on both the LG V60 and the iPhone 11 Pro. But since I'm giving this to my girlfriend today, I don't have the time to send over photos and all that stuff. So, I'm just going to show you guys from the phones itself. I'm sorry about this, but this is just... It's the better option to do right now. So, yeah. Let me get into this here. Uh, so, let me go. What I don't like about the iPhone in particular is that in the camera app, in the gallery app you don't just have a camera folder. So say when you say when you go to the photos app, there's only recents, Twitter and stuff like that. I'm not gonna show that because there's a uh, lucrative stuff. So say you just wanted to look at your camera roll. Let me try to find it before I yeah, there's really no way to find just just your camera. Yeah, on the iPhone, there's no real way to just get your camera roll. So, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm just going to have to uh, find a picture on the V60 that I want to compare it to and then find a picture on the um, iPhone to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, let's go with this picture first which is the picture I just took recently and this is something I want to talk about in particular mainly because um what the hell is that <laughs> mainly because uh this is just interesting how people like to just like say the telephoto lens in particular for example I could just make a video on that alone so let's get into so let's talk about this what, what i notice about both of these phones is that the v60 does a better job at oh my god the v60 does a better job at representing the photo representing a scene in a way that looks more natural while also punching up the colors ever so slightly so it doesn't look bland the iPhone, while it has natural colors, what it does is it tends to look a bit dry. <laughs> like, and this is something that's really weird because this is what people like to say about LG years ago. Where, oh, the photos just look a bit dry. But I'm getting that feeling on the iPhone more. And I have HDR on on both of these and stuff like that. I even got the AI mode on on the camera on the V60. So let's talk about this now. And this is going to be hard to show you guys since I'm recording it on a phone, right? But what I really like what the V60 does is see the green on the um, petals here on the leaves and stuff like that. And you see the red. That's a really nice red. And there's a good amount of detail. And there's a good amount of bokeh in the background. And the focus fall off is really clean. The iPhone also has really nice colors i'm not trying to say the iphone has shit colors or anything like that i like both of the here's what i'm going to preface this with i like both of these phones in terms of camera they both have really good cameras but what i'm trying to say is not one one doesn't cream the other one doesn't well one doesn't cream the other at all both of these are as good in terms of detail what I will say is that in certain lighting situations and stuff like that, the V60 doesn't do well with reds all that much. But overall, I feel the L the V60 does quite good in a lot of ways, comparatively, right? And, le and for that picture in particular, it looks really nice. So let's go to this picture. I didn't actually analyze these pictures all that much when I took them, after I took them. So, let me do that here real quick. 
honestly, and this is my example, right? This is the example where you can go with either or and you'll be totally fine. Both of these represent the scene well. Both of these don't punch up the green too much to where it looks cartoony or anything like that. Like, say, a Samsung phone will. They look natural. They look nice. The only thing is that if you want more bokeh, the V60 is the one to go with. Because look at that. On both sides, you get a good amount of bokeh. Whereas on this, it's kind of blurred. But it's only really blurred on the right side. So uh, to me, both of these have a re both of these are both of those are really good, right? Now let's go to this photo here. What I've noticed is that in certain in a lot of situations, the iPhone will over sharpen when you do 10x zoom. So there's a there's a quite a bit of over sharpening in this photo here where. You see this tower of down in downtown Minneapolis where there's a lot of grain and it just doesn't look all that great. Whereas on the V60, there is grain, mm -hmm. but it's not near. Oh my God. I'm recording a vid a video. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. But on the V60... There's not nearly as much grain. There is grain, but the scene looks more natural. It looks more like the scene is rep actually was, where the sky is blue on this side, and the side this looks a little bit more white and orange. So it's kind of uh, but but overall both are really solid. Those are manual shots. I want to focus on the ooh. I want to focus on this right here. So this is the photo. Which made me, oh my god. No, oh, you took it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Fuck. Christ. Uh, but where is it? Let me go back here. Now I gotta scroll through here again. Oh, yeah, but this photo in particular, right? Let's look at the sun. <laughs> this repre this represent mm -hmm. ice. This photo represents how this sun how the sun looked at like seven in the morning. Way better than what this looks like. This looks like it came out of a video game. Or as this looks like, it's how the sun actually looks. Now, both of these are in 10x crop zoom. And as you guys know, famously and controversially, the V60 only has two back cameras and it uses the main sensor to crop zoom for 10x. And a lot of people made us think about that. Though, oh, it's just superior if you have a separate lens. But what I'm showing here, and again, this isn't to say that the V60 is just better <laughs> In this particular situation, I would say it is better. And let me do this. In that particular situation, I would say it is better. But overall, there really isn't anything to me that screams the iPhone completely stomps it in telephoto mode. Because it doesn't. Now, here's, an, here's another f example of a different flower where... As you guys see on the V60, there's a good amount of detail. And obviously, since I'm recording on a video, I can't show you guys the proper photo. But there's a good amount of detail on here. The greens are punched up nice, nicely. They don't look super saturated. They don't look terrible. Whereas on here, it is pleasing to the eye. And there is a good amount of detail. But it doesn't have nearly as much bokeh. Like... <laughs> It's like night and day, the difference in bokeh. Uh, I, that's just pictures I took with my short tapes. Let me find a different photo here. Oh, these photos. These are more 10x photos that I want to talk about. So let me just go to the gallery app here. Uh. Mm, 
Okay, so this is another scene where it was cool. It had a more cooler temperature outside that day, so this represents the scene way better as well. And both of these, as you guys can see, this is another example where they both they both you could use either of these as examples of look how look how these you look how these are <sighs> sorry look at the telephoto modes on both of these and there's really no difference the iphone again is sharpening whereas the v60 it's not and there's just as much detail if not it looks a bit cleaner because of the fact that it's not over sharpening then I go to here, and this is where I really saw the over sharpening. Where the V60, you guys can kind of probably see the color of the eye of this dragon here. And this is also 10x zoom, whereas on here on the iPhone, you, you can kind of sort of see it as well. But you see it's way more grainy. <laughs> There's way more grain on there. And... To me, that just screams something that is not screams, but it's just like no one talks about iPhone sharpening photos. It really doesn't. So let's go into this. As you guys can see, the Sun World supermarket, it looks fairly good. Like, this is also 10x zoom. You could read this out totally fine. But uh, well, what I've noticed about this photo in particular is that both phones focus have different things in different amounts of detail. Like, it's kind of weird. H&R Block, you can see pretty clearly on the iPhone. Whereas on the LG, you could not really see it all that well. Whereas Little Caesars looks a little bit more legible on the V60. And it doesn't really look all that legible on the iPhone. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's weird the differences. And let me go to this sign here where these were also 10x zoom and these are interchangeable. I would I wouldn't pick one over the other in this situation. I might pick the iPhone a little bit more solely because the color looks a bit better, but either way I would that's nothing that you can't fix in editing where you can just make the tone a little bit more cooler or even in manual mode you can make it a little bit more warmer and stuff like that so yeah then there's this this is where i would probably pick the iphone but that's a slight win that's a slight edge i would still just go either or this there's more detail on the iphone definitely But it's not to the point where I would say I would use the iPhone over the V60. Because the V60 also has this very good amount of bokeh. And that also could just be lens quality as well, not the sensor itself. This is where this is where I've also seen a lot of differences that you see how it just looks like a, just like one segmented thing, right? Which is like current time is 721. You look at the iPhone, you can see the individual dots. And that's cool, that's cute, but to me it just doesn't really matter. Because either way, both are legible, right? And both are really good. This is, and these pictures are where, these are wide angle shots. And the V60, the V60's wide angle lens is indeed sharper. There, was a, there were times on the iPhone where it just looked blurry. Like, I'll show you guys, for example, here. You look at, um... F. Scott Fitzgerald's tie right here. Look how look how clean that looks. Look how sharp that looks on the V60. The iPhone. It looks a bit blurry. It looks a bit washed out. And then I took a little zoom shot of his face. The iPhone overexposed, whereas the V60 was totally fine and it gave a good amount of detail. Now, obviously, since I'm recording this through a phone, you can't really see the difference. But I really like the detail on the V60. And the V60 will indeed overexpose, too. Like, let me try and find a... Let me try and find a picture where it does overexpose. 
that doesn't really look all that great. Oh, these photos here. So these flowers, the main problem that the L that the V60 does is it overexposes, so you don't get any detail. I lowered the exposure and then I got a good amount of detail out of it. Let me find some low lower light shots here. Um oh no, let me do one more telephoto lens photo. So the clock at the top of the clock tower at Landmark Center. Look how legible the 12 is right here. It's more legible on the V60. Overall, the numbers are more legible on the V60. The tone is a bit... The tone is not that much different. I would say it may be a tad warmer on the iPhone. But overall, I would still use either or. Like, not many people on social media are pixel peepers. So, that's not something I would necessarily worry about, right? Um... Let me bring up a picture of my cat here. Uh, oh no, before that, let's do this. I have a lot of photos, so... There... Oh, that's not really going to show up all that well. But there's a good, uh, like, way more detail on this on this Caterpillar on the V60 than compared to the iPhone here, where... Where is it? It was the one I took on the iPhone. I think it's this one. So, both of these I took on the phone themselves, right? 64 megapixel lens, I think 12 megapixels. Look at how little you can zoom in, whereas on here, you can, <laughs> you can zoom in all the way. But that's not the point of this. The point is... There's more micro details on here, and obviously you guys really can't see it all that well. But overall, I would use both of these photos still. And they would look very good. Uh, oh yeah, kitty. Uh, now obviously I can't take identical shots of a cat. They like to move around way too much. Apologies, guys. I take too many photos. But let's just compare these two. So the iPhone blows her fur out a little bit. It's not terrible. I would still use this for social media. And it would look totally serviceable and fine. The, L, the V60 has a good amount of detail, a good amount of bokeh as usual. And she's very, she's better represented on the V60 to the point where I'd say that I would honestly use the V60 over that in terms of for cats in particular, because it, it just looks more satisfying to me. And the, honestly, this is what I want to say to conclude this, because I did not want to make this a 20 minute video. I'm not trying to say that the V60 stumps the iPhone. I've said this like maybe five times throughout this entire video, right? But the entire point of this video is to prove that there really is no hands down best phone camera. There really isn't. It ultimately depends on what color temperatures you like, who's processing you like better hdr who does that better who what you prefer right i personally don't like the um hdr that a lot of phones do because they overdo it the v60 doesn't really overdo it for me and the iphone doesn't really do it that terribly as well and to me that's just the overall message i want to get across here is that no, the V60 doesn't stomp the iPhone. The iPhone doesn't stomp the V60. But in terms of what you get for both of these, it depends on what you want. I would stick with the V60, one, because I'm giving this to my girlfriend, but two, because I value those camera features. I really do. I value that bokeh. <laughs> I really do. Oh, well, I just remembered one more picture that I could show you guys and I forgot. So let me go down to this.
go down to one more macro shot before I end this video. But yeah, overall, it's like, to me, the V6, like, both of these phones do phenomenally well when it comes to a lot of stuff. I wouldn't say one is better than the other, like I said. But in terms of colors and, like, overall detail, like, look at the detail on this leaf on the V60. That looks fucking great. And then there's the focus fall off and all that stuff and the bokeh. That looks really nice. Now, unfortunately, since it's a smaller phone, <laughs> I can't really get all that those details in there. But this looks really nice, too. But the colors and, you know, the bokeh are not that not as good. I wouldn't say not that good, not as good. But yeah, overall, that's just what I want to say. It was like, don't go off these tech reviewers that say, oh, the telephoto lens is important and the V60 not having it is bad. When the LG Wing, for example, proves that you don't really need a telephoto lens. And this proved it as well because crop zoom works and it competes with the telephoto lens, especially when the iPhone and under certain circumstances will switch to the main lens and crop the image for zoom. So I just don't get it. That's all I want to say. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday or whatever time of day it is in your area. Have a good one.